What's going on, everyone? Welcome back. Today, we've got another live fantasy football mock draft for you back on Fantasy Pros with a 10-team half PPR mock, where we'll be selecting from the third overall position. Our roster, as always, one quarterback, two running backs, two wide receivers, a tight end, a flex, and then five bench spots. But that's pretty much it. So let's get right into it. And while we wait, quick reminder, if you guys enjoy, hit that like button, subscribe, give us a follow on Twitter at All Day Pigskin to continue interacting with us there. Let us hear it in the comment section. What are your thoughts on this mock along with any other questions you guys might have? We will do our best to answer all of those. And lastly, make sure to check out the 2022 ADP Fantasy Football Draft Guide. Has everything you can want at a great value. Details in the description. But with that being said, let's get into it. The first two picks, to nobody's surprise, they are Jonathan Taylor and Christian McCaffrey. You know, Christian McCaffrey to me is a top two pick really in any type of PPR format. So I have zero problem with this. And then, you know, if I feel like that about Christian McCaffrey, Pretty much, I feel the exact same way about Austin Eckler, whether it's half or full PPR. Um, Do I think he's going to be a top two running back like he was last year across all formats? I think it'll be a little bit tougher. You know, obviously the price tag is higher, but to me, he is the consensus number three pick, especially in PPR formats. So we're not going to spend too much time on this one. I think it's relatively simple. And now there's actually some really intriguing choices for us, but let's see why Um, those choices are available other than this being a 10 team league and, you know, the depth of players just being larger. But after our Austin Eckler pick, you see Dalvin Cook, then Cooper Cup, Justin Jefferson. So two wide receivers in the top six, then Derrick Henry, Travis Kelsey goes pretty early at the 108, then Najee Harris, Jamar Chase, followed by Joe Mixon, Aaron Jones, Nick Chubb, DeAndre Swift. So, you know, Nick Chubb going earlier than he should, in my opinion, Aaron Jones, Uh, going a little bit earlier, even though I think you can make a case he should be a first rounder, uh, just compared to other typical fantasy pros drafts that we've done. Then you see Stephon Diggs, CeeDee Lamb, a little bit early for CeeDee Lamb, especially when Devontae Adams is still on the board. Then Leonard Fournette. So honestly, right now, um, looking at our cheat sheet, I think Devontae Adams is got to be the next pick. Like to me, he's a top five wide receiver still. You know, in PPR formats, I think you can argue he is the third best wide receiver after Jefferson and Cooper Cup. The other guy that I'd be looking at here is Alvin Kamara. Very tempting, but I still don't know what's going to happen with the suspension. So I think we we go safe. We go with Devontae Adams. Uh, I still have faith in him big time. So let's see what happens afterwards. That's where it'll be really, really interesting and what we can do uh, at this point in time. So we land Devontae Adams, pair him up with Austin Eckler. Then goes James Conner, Debo Samuel, Mike Evans, and Mark Andrews. So this is really interesting because Alvin Kamara is still on the board. And, you know, the question here with Kamara becomes how long of a suspension is he going to face? Is it going to be a six game suspension? Is it going to be like a three game suspension, something in between, something less, something more? And depending on that, where should he be drafted? Like if it's a six game suspension, I wouldn't draft him in the top three rounds, but if it's a three game suspension and he's available at the start of the third round in a PPR format, I think that's a steal. So I'm going to take a gamble on him at this point in time, the wide receivers, uh, Tyree kill. I don't love as much as I did last year. AJ Brown. No, thank you. Keenan Allen, as much as I like him, I've already got Austin Eckler. Mark Andrews is gone. So I'm not going to force a tight end selection. Definitely not going quarterback. So really only the top two picks for me here are either Alvin Kamara or Saquon Barkley. I'm going to go with Alvin Kamara. I think he does have the higher upside, especially in PPR scoring. Uh, Obviously, once official news comes out on the suspension, though, I mean, we're going to break it down. We're going to, you know, uh, adjust our rankings. We're going to do all of that good stuff and have updated projections and let you guys know how you should treat him. Uh, But for now, you know, it's a mock draft. It's still, you know, early July. So, Uh, We've got some time, but after we went Kamara, you see Javante Williams, AJ Brown, there goes Saquon, there goes Zeke in the middle of the third round. I will say, uh, typically now you're seeing Saquon Barkley go in the second round across like the ESPNs, the Yahoos, so keep that in mind. Uh, Then you see Tyreek, Keenan Allen, T. Higgins, good value on those three wide receivers there. Michael Pittman, Brees Hall, way too early for him. Uh, Then Kyle Pitts, Josh Allen, Cam Akers, Montgomery, and Deontay Johnson. So if we went wide receiver here, you know, you got DJ Moore, Jalen Waddle, Terry McLaurin, but honestly, I'm just going to get another running back, a running back that I really like in Travis Etienne. 
and have that running back position just to show you our roster locked down. Like I've got Kamara, I've got Eckler, and now I've got Travis Etienne. Like honestly, all those guys to me are like little mini versions of themselves. So I really like the situation for us. I was hoping Terry McLaurin might drop, but um, you know, we've got Devontae Adams, so I'm not really all that worried. Uh, I, I have Travis Etienne. I feel very good about that. Uh, at this point in time, I'm just going to go with my highest ranked wide receiver. To me, that by far is Allen Robinson. So let's nab him. You know, fantasy pros will not like that selection. It's going to call it a reach. It's going to do whatever, uh, probably based on their rankings, but I don't really care. Uh, I think it's a no brainer. I think he is undervalued and, you know, it's a situation where I'm going to take advantage of that. So now let's quickly look at the draft board to see if some talent fell to us. Man, we just got sniped on Kyler Murray. I would have loved to get Kyler Murray on the squad. That would have been awesome. I would have loved if a Kittle or a Waller fell to us in the sixth round as well. But we went with wide receiver and, and you know, honestly, I'm not too mad about it. I, I love Allen Robinson. He m- maybe would have fallen to us in the next round. We could have gone um, a tight end. We could have gone, like I said, I think quarterback would have been too early in the fifth round. Uh, but we could have gone a tight end probably like a George Kittle. Uh, what I will say, you know, I, I'm trying to be a little bit more realistic with this. And I think Allen Robinson in a typical draft in the sixth end of the sixth round would have been uh, probably a little bit of a reach for him to still be there. So I just took him where I did. Uh, I wanted to get a super solid number two wide receiver. I did that. And in fact, I'm going to get another very solid wide receiver, in my opinion. That is Marquise Brown, who, you know, with Kyler Murray and that new tandem with DeAndre Hopkins suspended for six games. Uh, I think Marquise Brown is a no-brainer here. So let's add him as a nice little depth piece. Uh, Quarterback, again, I'm not really all too worried about. Now, let's look at our tight end situation. We can go Dalton Schultz at this point in time. Uh, You know, I'd be okay with Zach Ertz, uh, but I think Dalton Schultz for the majority of the season is going to be the better all-around tight end. So I'll just take him now. You know, I think, you know, we could have waited a little bit longer. But I, I didn't want to risk it. So, uh, you know, I, I want to get a guy that has top five-ish tight end potential. Again, it's a 10-team league, so getting that positional advantage is important. Um, let's see what else happened. After we went Dalton Schultz, you see J.K. Dobbins, Rashad Bateman, Wilson, Russell Wilson, that is, Chris Godwin. Godwin, an interesting guy. Recent reports saying he's going to be ready for the start of the season. So reports all over the place with that. Joe Burrow, Juju Smith, Dak, A.J. Dillon, Elijah Moore, Damian Harris, Adam Thielen, Cordero Patterson, Drake London, and Michael Thomas uh, towards the end of the eighth round. That's awesome value on Michael Thomas. Um, Just a great, great uh, value pick at that point in time. Huge upside. So I really, really like that. Now, at this point in time, what do we do? You know, most everybody has a quarterback, um, so I'm not really all that worried about it. We can get some you know, some running back help here at this point in time. I think the highest ranked guy would be Miles Sanders. I don't love him. I really don't. But he's he's a guy that I think, you know, at this point in time is going to be uh, the most startable compared to all these other names. So I'm just going to go with Miles Sanders, just continue to get more depth at that position. Uh, so let's go with Miles Sanders here. And then we can kind of, you know, speed this thing up a little bit. Uh, let's see if there's any quarterbacks that I, you know, potentially don't get sniped on. But no, I think everybody but us has a quarterback. So yeah, I'm just going to continue to wait on the position, look at my cheat sheet, Um, maybe even, you know, looking at these wide receivers. I might even just get DeAndre Hopkins later on, but I'm going to get another guy that I really like in Alan Lazard now. And, you know, at this point, it's all about targeting high upside guys. I can even go with a Zach Ertz, honestly. So a lot of options. I'm going to go quarterback in like the last round. Yeah, it's going to call it a reach. I don't really care. Oh, wow. I did not expect Colk Met and Zach Ertz to both go off the board. That's all right. Um, so, I mean, our tight end depth, not going to be the greatest, but we've got Dalton Schultz, so we shouldn't be too worried about that. I'm going to go with Matthew Stafford here. I have him ranked above Tom Brady, and then we're going to make our final two selections and kind of wrap this thing up. I think Hunter Renfro at this point in time is a good pick. Um, you know, I think there's probably some better value at wide receiver when I look at the cheat sheet. Yeah, like Hunter Renfro, uh, Russell Gage, um, you know, Brennan Ayuk. So yeah, there's there's some names here. So uh, I think the highest upside at this point in time is Renfro. So let's go with him. 
Uh, we've got that Devonte Adams and Hunter Renfro. Something happens to Devonte Adams, Renfro. We know what he's capable of. So I like that for us there. Uh, and then here, maybe we go with like a Mark Ingram to our Alvin Kamara. If Kamara does get suspended, I think that's actually a pretty smart way to do it. So let's go with him. And that way, if something does happen, we have Mark Ingram, assuming nobody else is added as that handcuff to potentially be that high end RB2, maybe from time to time an RB1. But all in all, I don't mind the squad. I'm curious to see what grade we get. Yeah, we get a pretty just, you know, average B grade. I'd probably agree with that. Um, if we had gotten a tight end, a top notch tight end before we went Allen Robinson and then Robinson dropped to us in that sixth round, I think the draft grade would have been higher. But otherwise, I really like the squad. Like, you know, we got some good value picks, Miles Sanders, Hunter Renfro, even Alan Lazard. Uh, Marquise Brown. So I think this is a very solid team, well built. But hey, let me know your thoughts in the comment section, along with any other questions you guys might have. I will do my best to answer them all. If you enjoyed, hit that like button, subscribe, and we'll see you guys in future videos.